Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin. And today we're going to talk about... Media managing. Uh, <laughs> you sighed when I talked about that. No, I know. It's not a sexy subject, media no, management. But it's really important. It is. People, super important. people email me all the time. I want to move my project from this drive to that drive. I want to take my stuff on the road. Yeah. When I get there, my media's offline. It's not, or it's what not there, happens? Right, right. You know, and, and that, that just comes up because people don't family. understand fundamentally kind of how Final Cut Pro is dealing with right. media under the hood. I just saw that. Somebody gave their, they had a project and they gave it to somebody else and they took it and they went and they plugged it in and nothing was there. Yeah. Like, what's going on. We're so you're going to help those people. Yeah. Because, I mean, think about it. A lot of times you're working at home on your desktop and you want to keep working on the road on your laptop. And you yes. want to make sure you have all your files with you. Yes. And if you don't do what I'm about to show you, you're in for a world of hurt and then you'll never work in this town again. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. uh, let's so let's, let's look. Keep everybody employed. So let's keep everyone employed. So we select the Macintosh or HD and I'm going to go ahead and create a new event. Did you come up with that name yourself? Macintosh HD? E, the, the, no. <laughs> I'm going to type in optics because okay. we just came out with a really cool plug-in and this is a way of promoting it shamelessly. No. <laughs> I have some video footage I'm going to bring in that's relative. That to, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click import media. So notice I've already selected the footage. Um, favorite bin, or excuse me, I don't, we don't use bins anymore, it's a folder. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a couple of clips right here um, from this kind of browse area. I'm not going to select them all because we don't want to sit here waiting for things for, to copy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and import selected. Now here's the key. I'm going to have it set to import into an event called Optics. That's which the is, one you just created which I, and which it is, selects That's right, default. and it's currently set for my Macintosh HD. Right. Now here's the thing. A lot of people don't want to copy the media into their event library. Let's say you're handed a drive and you have all the right. media on it. I, I just want Final Cut to reference it. You want it to point to that. But you don't want to have to copy all that file and fill up your right. internal Drive. That's right. And nine times out of ten, that's exactly how I work. I yes. don't want it copying the media into my event library. Yes. I want it to just reference. So I'm just going to choose, uh, well, uncheck those, and I'm okay. going to go ahead and click import. And Final Cut Pro will and that'll make it import a lot faster too, because there's nothing being copied. That's right. And there, there there's there, there are my two clips. Okay. Mm -hmm. So th there they are. And I can start editing and whatnot. But I just want to show you something. One slight little change that Apple made to Final Cut 10.0.6. Okay. If I control click on this and I choose Reveal in Finder, right, it's going to take you to where that actual clip is. And this oh, is, is exactly. Wait a minute. Because it used to take you to where the alias is in the event. Right. Where Final Cut Pro calls a sim, oh, or what okay. I refer to okay. as poser files. Okay. Okay. The poser files. But, right. Sorry. So, exactly. In oh, fact, so that's a little bit, to me, it's a little confusing because I was so used to it taking to me where that event is and that kind of where those that's poser right. files are. And that's where people are going to get confused and they get tripped up because, okay. like you said, if you look inside the Final Cut events for that folder, you'll see the original media. They are, in fact, those are uh, those are sims. Those are, that you can see little the little, aliases. Little, a little pointer on exactly. little, uh, Can you zoom in a little bit? On the, yeah, yeah, yeah you can go. see they're, they're little... Right. There's they're nothing there. Poser files. Right. Okay, so very important that you know this because now you're going to think, okay, I'm ready to uh, take my event with me on the road. I'm just going to go right. ahead and I'm going to grab this optics. I'm going to grab that event. And I'm going to just drive it, drag it to my road drive, okay? I'm going I'm to leave the word copy on there or actually if I want to say optics on the road. So whatever. Okay, okay so right. I'm copying it to that so drive. the event to that drive. Okay, so right. boom, copy it to the drive. Good to go. Well, no. no, you're not, because it only copied the sim links. It only copied what was in that event, which were linked, which are <laughs> aliases or sim links. That's exactly okay. right. So here's what you need to do if okay. you want this to work. It's one last step you have to do. If you're working off of a drive that has sim links, or okay. working off of a media event. Event, event that's using yeah. sim links. So and does it matter if it has some sim links and some real media, or all sim links? It's, it's, you should do this it, no you matter what. Do, you should just do this. Okay. This is just something that you should do. Okay. Because it's it's a it's kind of like a fail safe. So what I'm going to do is select the event on my road drive. Okay. okay. So this is something you do after you copy the event. Correct. After you copy the event. Okay. This will ensure that you're going to end up with real media files. Okay. So once the event is selected, I'm going to go to the file menu, and I'm going to choose organize event files. That's that's organize the event files. Right. Okay. So as soon as I do that, I'm going to get this big dialogue, and whenever you get big dialogues. 
with lots of words, just click OK and okay. you'll be fine. <laughs> just don't even read it. Is that really an <laughs> no. appropriate thing to be saying? <laughs> no. No, actually he's just saying the selected event refers to files outside the event folder, which is true. It's referring yes. to the files that are on that external media drive, right? Right. To copy all external media files into the event folder, continue. So it literally okay. is going to turn those SIM poser files into real into files the real thing. on my road drive. Because uh, I thought before, like, oh, I've got all these symbolic links in this folder, I have to make them all real media and then copying them and no. I'm doing it twice. No. So you, you first put the event on the drive you want and then you turn those sim links into real media. And That's you've right. only done it one time. And That's only great. Done it one time. That's it, great. And the the beauty about the, the beauty of this is that your original event is still using sim links. Right. Your That's what I'm, yeah, you didn't you didn't mess that up at all. Right. So your original event is still using sims, but your Road version is actually going to have real links, and I'm going to show this now. I'm going to select this, and I'm going to control click on there. I'm going to choose Reveal and Finder, and it's going to take me to the original media, original folder, media folder that's huh? on my road drive. Yep. And you can see that they are, in fact, you can see the size right there, 42 megs. 42, so right, yeah. they're real files. They're yep. not Sims. Yep. Yep. So now you're ready to go. You can literally take the drive, unplug it, yep. plug it. You know. And, and you should be testing this on your laptop before you walk out the door anyway. Right, right. Make sure that right. all your media you know, appears. And if, if there's a project tied to it, you could just copy the project over there as well. Exactly. And then it should link right to it. That's you just right. tell it to link to it. So this is something you should do if you plan on taking your work with you. Excellent. Excellent. Great tip. Yeah. Thank you. And you can learn more about media management on... That's my job. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. If you want to learn more about what Steve's talking about, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. Go to rippletraining.com. Check it out. Uh, Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Very we much. do have a training on this particular subject. Oh, oh go ahead. Co media management and collaboration. Oh. Working on SANS, sharing files, and that so sort of thing. That's even better. Yes. That's even better. Yeah. Okay. So you probably should have gone then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.